it requires popular bloggers. There is those bloggers who get 3,000 or more visitors per day to register themselves as mass media and follow the same restrictions and regulations that mass media outlets have to abide by without actually getting relevant protections and relevant benefits. That means that bloggers would be responsible for veracity of information. They would be responsible for abiding by election campaign and regulations and so on and so forth, like proper press, without, in fact, being press. All those restrictions are huge blows to free expression in Russia, and more restrictions are likely to come. Well, with TV channels in particular, as I said, that was definitely Putin's project number one when he just became Russia's president all those 14 years ago. But then, of course, recently, several satellite channels became fairly popular. And so in order to make sure that those satellite channels uh, do not gain large audiences, uh, the government pushed yet another law through the parliament that bans commercials on satellite television. And that law is going to enter into force in 2015. So what's going to happen to those independent channels? I presume they cannot survive, because how can commercial television survive without advertisement, without commercials? There is this law which is now sitting in Russia's parliament and which is very likely to be soon adopted, which provides for criminal liability for repeated participation in unauthorized demonstration. Such participation would be punished by five years in prison. That is, if you take part in unauthorized demonstrations more than twice, during six months, you can actually end up behind bars for as long as five years. This is really very dramatic.